So, all right, let's just get right into it. Kai Senate. My opinion on all this is that Kai Senate needs to fire his whole management team, get rid of all those people, hire a new management team, and also take a look at all the people around you. Sometimes when you're that high up, you're probably not looking around you at your friends and analyzing them. Maybe he, maybe he is, but based on the friends that he has around him, that is contributing to the problem that this caused. This man got arrested, went to jail. So that usually is an indication that you're doing something wrong. And I would like to say that he should probably take a look at the people around him. I think he should get a bigger management company and he should probably hang around fewer people that influence this situation. So here's a story, I'll bring it up. This is a little bit of a video of what it actually looked like. I hope you can appreciate how many freaking people were there. So the reports actually say that 2000 people ended up showing up. Uh, it started with a lesser amount, but it grew to be 2000 people at its max. And this is in New York. So he posted um, an Instagram story and announced a giveaway. So right away, he's, he's using Instagram to announce his giveaway. Nothing really official, just throwing out Instagram story. People need to be there. Union Parks, Union Square Park on Friday at 4 p.m. So by 1.30, about 300 people had gathered. And so that's a, that's a significant amount, but it's not that bad. I think if he would have just dealt with those 300 people for the giveaway, it wouldn't have been so bad. But after 3 p.m., news of the giveaway had spread widely online. Uh, the park was soon filled obstructing traffic as the crowd was seen taking down barriers, throwing objects at police. People jumped into cars. Gathering turned into a scene of unrest. People are calling this a riot. It's kind of a tough word to play with because the media likes to use riot really liberally. They're not... Riot can be sometimes more protest-like. And that's usually how it's used in the media. So I don't like using the word riot for this, but it did start to turn into something similar to that. And so a lot of people are asking, like, why wouldn't Kai know about something like this could happen? If you knew this, if you knew this was going to happen, wouldn't you try to avoid this or try to organize something properly? And I have a few things to go over as far as him either knowing that this was going to happen or something would probably go like this. This is Kai Senate on the right. On the left is his friend. Um, actually, I forget his name. I think it's Court. Oh, it's Phantom. Phantom. That's from Phantom on the on the left. So they were doing a collab, and they announced that they were going to New York. They put up on Google Earth the location of the spot that they're going to pull up. So the question is, did he think that something like this was going to happen? Let me just play this. I want people to feel right there. They said more. NYPD going to be on dick. <laughs> NYPD going to pull up. Oh, well, fuck it, bro. Right, we, we going all out. Chat. I'm telling you, bro. This is going to be a fucking movie. All right. So that right there should tell you enough that he knew it was going to be something that was going to blow up. He knew that it was going to be a movie. It was going to be something significant. Nah, that ass though. 14 Union Square Park, right in front of the Whole Foods, bro. You know, feel me? It's right on niggas. You going to see this big ass green sign? Yeah, 500 people can fit right there. They said more. So 500 people. Guy Senna thought that 500 people were going to show up. He thought 500 people were going to show up here in front of this Whole Foods. He said it was going to be like a movie. So he at least knew that 500, at least 500 people, keep that in mind, were going to show up. So as him and his boys were showing up to the event, this is them now in the bus before they're going out. So the question is, do they know that something is really probably not going to go well? Do they know that? And in the beginning of this clip, they're saying that they want people to be safe. So they're in front of the venue right now, inside of their trailer, their security van. 
this already tells you this them being together in a security van there's a bunch of people on this bus you know for a fact that they had arranged this beforehand meaning that there was discussions of meeting at this certain location it wasn't on a whim it wasn't just hey let's pull up to this location and we're going to have so and so there and it's like the same day no they had put this out beforehand and coordinated so did he know this was going to be as bad as it was in the bus he's saying that he wants people to be safe this is before he goes out welcome to new york welcome to new york meaning that he has implied that he knows how rowdy new york can get he knows he's from new york it's not like he's from la and then flew out to new york didn't know what was going to happen new york is always going crazy there are videos on videos of viral moments he's even participated in a viral moment that caused a significant group in new york it's just how things happen in new york people just love getting together everybody who's out there make sure y'all safe appreciate everybody who popped up for y'all bro we gonna make sure it's safe we're gonna make sure it's safe this is before he goes out this is before he goes into the crowd he's saying we're gonna make sure it's safe we're gonna make sure we're paying attention to the safety he's concerned about it already so what are they doing here by saying that they're not out there yet they're about to go out we're gonna make sure that y'all are safe we're gonna make sure everything's safe this guy is saying he's co-signing it saying that that ass make sure it's calm and collected Are they that delusional? How delusional are you? You're in the middle of New York. You know you're one of the most famous streamers in the world. You're going to one of the rowdiest places on earth, New York City. You told them where to pull up. You know what's going on outside. And you're telling them to be calm and collected. Do you think that's going to make any difference? But find us already. Hold on. Play this whole, play this whole side. Good. So he can see. Yeah, look, 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 look. Oh, they, they see already, bro. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, it feels so good to hey, be here. Yo. Like, this hometown, like, it's home court advantage. Nah. We got home, home court advantage, bro. Home court advantage. Look, 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 look at this, look at this. Look at them. They... Again, he's showing a phone with policemen outside. Security is in the van. He knows before he goes out, how bad that this can get the police are already outside gathering he has not gone out yet he knows that this could possibly go south he's asking people to stay safe he's asking them to calm down how realistic is it that that's going to be the case y'all know your demographics y'all know that it's going to be a bunch of rowdy new yorkers who are very very prone to violence that's just how it is people in New York are just aggressive that's not a f that's not like new people know that and they're from New York this guy reacting what this is my favorite part right here okay take a look at this the whole crew inside the van this is what I was talking about the people around you are complicit or are part of the problem. So Kai, how did you think this was going to go down? Did you think you were just going to pop out of the van? Everybody was going to be like folding their hands, praying. Oh my God, you're so wonderful. Please give me a PS5. We're going to sit here so quietly and calmly. Is that what you thought based on how your friends were reacting? So the question is, did he know something was going to happen like this? Did he know that something was going to happen like this? Even if he didn't know, he had to have a feeling. And the feeling that's in that van is perpetuating what just happened. These are these are the, that's the energy that he's bringing to 
the crowd, the people outside. Do you think that's just gonna be all good, all gravy? Oh my God, it's Yeah, they see the reality now. He got the mother camera. He got the mafia. Yeah. All the A and P out here, man. Yeah. Let me get off first. Let me get off first. You can hear all the fans outside going crazy. Where the park at? Right here, when he's pulling out, I'll be honest, it doesn't look that bad. From this perspective to the right side, doesn't look horrible. Now, here's where it goes south. As soon as I start hitting the crowd, there is no clear path to anywhere. There's no clear path to anywhere. Where was their destination? If they had a destination in mind, don't you think they would have cordoned it? Normal people that plan this shit, they would have had somebody pre show up and be able to block the path that the person needs to go through. So security is mad dumb for this. Security for Kai Senate, you're dumb for this. There should be no time where you are this close to the people without barriers between you. So whatever guys you're hiring, bro, again, look at your management. The security is ass. It's going to, yeah, get you through this crowd, but you shouldn't even be going through this crowd. They just have straight up access to them. If you look at any security training online for CIA agents, and how they block people from the barriers, they're always coming from a place of barrier. There are times where they have to go through a crowd, yes, but this is dumb. So right away, just madness. And this is 300 people here, apparently. <laughs> Look at these idiots, dude. One, two, three. They're just forming a little bubble around him. I don't know. This guy was like, I can't go up there with the book bag. I think it was for the camera. News helicopters are overhead. That's Union Square Park. The park has been swarmed and basically overrun by people. Look at the crowds of people there. Um, in fact, subway lines, bus lanes, they're bypassing Union Square. Popular Twitch streamer was holding a video game giveaway. If you don't know what Twitch is, you're not alone. I barely know what it is. It's apparently a platform yes. where you can watch other people play video games. Go on, Tavius. All right, so there's also a little interview here that's interesting. I want to play this. Young man, give me your name real quick and tell me uh, why you came out here, what you expected to happen, what did happen. All right, my name is Dilla Quantavius. Um, So basically, just, you know, it's a Kaisenat, Phantom, all of the AMP members. Oh, I don't know about all of them, but they pulled up, you know, do a little meet and greet and a giveaway for the fans. Giveaway of what was the understanding? So from my understanding, PS5s, video game accessories, uh, PC. I still don't know how many things he ended up giving out. Did he give out two PS5s, one PS5? But I don't think they will actually give away an actual PC because how is somebody going to carry that? So I'm pretty sure it's gift cards for them to then go and get the P5 themselves. It doesn't make sense, man. So you went in there and you said, I'm going to give out PCs. I'm going to give out PS5s. Who's carrying that stuff? Who's carrying that? Do you have somebody pre-carrying that? And then if you have a crowd that doesn't have any security, why wouldn't they just go grab it? What's stopping them from doing that? Is Kai Senna handing it out? Is just some other person handing it out? How are these people getting their giveaway? Is it a raffle on point? How is the giveaway going to work? You're just going to throw it into the crowd? It's safe to assume that you, along with your friends, came out here thinking that you would get some freebies. Is that correct? Not that we're thinking, but there's a chance to because, you know, there's so many people and there's only so much. They didn't go there for the giveaway. They didn't go there for the giveaway. Kai Senna had to have known that. People were going to show up 
not for the giveaway. They were showing up for an event. They were showing up for you to be there and to be a part of something. Had nothing to do with the giveaway. 90% of those people, 80% of those people were just there because you were there. Had nothing to do with the giveaway. So if you're going to do a meet and greet, which is what the intention seemed to be, if you wanted to do a meet and greet, how are you going to meet and greet people if they're all swarming you? Just think about that. That's so dumb. So what was the intention? Was it to give things away or was it just to be in a big group of people? And if it was, what did you think was going to happen from there? You can give. Has any of that happened? Is he here? Um, he's here right now, yeah. And they were giving out, but people are, you know, people are being people. There's so many people here, people are pushing around, so you can't really get it organized. Okay, and before we came on, you were telling me that, in your own words, that some people out here were bugging out. Explain to me what you saw, what you meant by that. Bugging out, like, like, like you can see, like, there's no excuse, obviously, for what happened. But, you know, stuff like that just happens all the time. You know, people being reckless. Okay, this guy has all the common sense in the world. He's like, yeah, you could see all the damage around. There are signs getting damaged. There's buildings getting damaged. Things are happening around me. These things sort of happen. This guy's probably living in New York. I don't know how long he's been living there, but he has enough common sense to say, hey, this stuff happens. Listen to him say that. The time, you know, people being reckless. It's New York City. It's New York City. Stuff like this happens every day. Stuff like this happens every day. Well, I wouldn't say every day, but... Oh, what? You know what I'm saying? Well, thank you and be safe. Um, as you can see, Sanjo, we... <laughs> He holds up the pound, though, and my man straight up does not see it. <laughs> he just goes on with his life. Again, this whole situation was planned. He went there at a certain time. There was a certain place involved. When he was in the van, he said, everybody stay safe. They had a picture of all the policemen lined up. That was already happening. And then when they got out of the van, it was just pure chaos. The security team carried him like a newborn baby. Like a little, like a little, uh, messiah. And they carried him all the way to the park. And then what do you do from there? What was the plan from there? That's what I really want to know. If he comes out and says that, I would love to hear it. What can he say? What would he logically say? I was getting out of the van and I was going to go to this certain part of the park that was set up for giving away things. What did he have a table there? Did he have a little stage there? I didn't, we haven't seen any of that. There would typically be like a setup where most of the people are gathering. When you look at the actual footage, they're everywhere. There's no center location. It's just wherever Kai Senate is. Kai Senate is like a nucleus. It's almost like a cell. This man is in the middle and then there's a sea of people around him and wherever he goes throughout the city, it's just people are just surrounding him. It's a literal manif manifestation of his stream. Think about it. He is streaming. There are, there are not millions, but at least a couple thousand people watching at that time. Let's say it's like 4,000 people. So he is the center. There's thousands of people watching in the world watching him. When he's in person, his followers are next to him. It's a manifestation of a stream. You have to be able to separate yourself as the subject of entertainment from this group when you're in the middle of them that's a horrible horrible idea because then you're just going to be engulfed what are they going to do what do you think that they're just going to sit there and oogle at you and you're going to be able to talk to them was there a microphone there's just so many dumb things that didn't happen that could have happened so you know you kai knew that there was at least going to be 500 to a thousand people he said that in his stream he was like how many people do you think can fit here 500 so he already knew that there was going to be at least 500 to 1,000 people there, realistically. He believed that the giveaway could just be similar to his streams, I guess, because when he streams, it's low-level tech. Not saying that he doesn't invest a lot. It's not low-level tech. It's low-logistic tech. So he doesn't have to do a whole lot to orchestrate his streams. He does have to have cameramen. He has to have this level of planning, some low level, you know, logistics that are planned out for his streams. But for the most part, this guy is just streaming from his house. So it's not planning a whole thousands of people in real life gathering level. You understand what I'm saying? So if his management wasn't involved with that decision, then what transpired to get you to that decision of the, the giveaway? So you can't just operate yourself 
as a streamer and go out and have a meet and greet or something like that, similar to this, where you don't have logistics. There was no logistics that were pre-planned. And either that was the case, it was pre-planned to be like this, which is horrible, and that would be like the opposite of what Kai Sena wants, or it was just poorly, so poorly managed that this happened. So either way, they either knew it was probable to happen, which I think that was the case, or they purposely orchestrated it so that it would happen. There are really only those two options. Them being oblivious to the fact that thousands of people gathering around somebody that was that popular wouldn't be a damage effect to the surrounding environments is just, that's, it's, that's illogical. That's not going to happen. So he had anticipated the large crowd. He said it was going to be a movie. He said it was going to be a movie. Don't forget that. So he knew something was going to go down. He was like, there's whatever. So that's before it's even happening, by the way. So if you as a viewer are hearing it's going to be like a movie, wouldn't you want to show up? Wouldn't that incite you to be a part of this quote unquote movie? So of course people are going to want to be a part of that. What do you think is going to happen? It's thousands of people are going to show up. So close to 2000 people ended up showing up. And it was two times probably the anticipated amount of people. So I will give him that benefit of the doubt, which is that he probably planned for 500 to 1,000 people. It was at the end of it about 2,000 people. Okay, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He expected 1,000 people to be there. Could 1,000 people still do that level of damage? So yes, Kai and his management knew that 500 to 1,000 people were going to be showing up and were very capable of rioting, breaking vehicles, and doing damage property. You have to know that. How would you not know that? So your management knows, honestly, just doing damage. They knew that. His management team knew it, and he knew it. Because he would have known that at some level, there was going to be violence. How would you not think that? How would you not think that? Do you think everybody's just going to be peacefully hanging out in New York? You think it's just going to be a kumbaya? Everybody just holding hands and hugging? It's New York. There's going to be fights. There's going to be people doing all sorts of crap, dude. They should have rented out a stadium or something, even like a high school. Exactly. Exactly. If you're going to logistics, you're going to plan this thing out to the whole extent. If you're going to do a giveaway, there has to be a venue. There has to be a separation of talent and crowd, meaning basic 101, musician, something like that. A thousand people on the street, that's too much. It was actually two, at the end of it, it was 2,000. It's way too many people, way, way, way too many people. How are you going to control any of that? How is there going to be, how would there be a giveaway? Don't you think that you could, you're just going to give something away to somebody and then they're going to be attacked by like 500 people? It's New York City. What do you think is going to happen? Just dumb. It's not, it's not going to be like all gravy and kumbaya. So I'm, what I'm arguing is that they knew that was going to happen. Dumb is a good word. It's, it's ignorance at its finest. They got out of that bus knowing that this was going to happen and they still did it anyway. And they just did not think it through. The way that this all played out means to me that the, the management team is, is dumb, first of all, and there's something wrong with the communication between them and the logistics of his movement, because how are you going to plan an event without even planning? It was an event without a plan. And if you're the biggest streamer on the platform or one of the biggest, maybe top three, there's going to be so many people that pulled up and he's, he's known this. He's, he's known this. It's not new. So his management team should have known about this event beforehand. It should have been orchestrated with the security team, collaborated with another group called AMP. And they know that other members are there with Kai Senate. So that's also bringing another gathering as well. Do it probably at a convention center, if it was me. That's what I would have done. I would have done it at a convention center. Had your security team, had meet and greet, VIP, uh, VIP things and everything. I think it was just lazy. It was lazy. And do I think they did it on purpose? Yes. Absolutely. Purpose is a tough, a tough word. Do I think that they purposefully let things get out of control that hard? No, but... 
they did have this gathering for a viral moment. 100%. The giveaway was just a way for them to put a guise out there for people to gather. It was not about the giveaway. It was about just getting a bunch of people together and having a movie moment. They probably weren't expecting such a reaction. I think they weren't anticipating the amount of people and the amount of damage that happened, but they wanted... I think they wanted this at a lower scale. They, I think they wanted this exact scenario to play out on a much lower, like, controllable scale. But if you wanted it to be at a controllable scale, you should have analyzed how many people that was going to be, and then had a contingency plan if it got out of hand, which, at some point, he did have to leave the crowd. I don't know how big it got when he had to leave, but he did have to leave. But something for a camera, yes, exactly, or tickets. Yeah. Even free online ones get a count. Yes, that's all you had to do. All you had to do is have people RSVP, have an entrance to the area, and you would have had a better scenario or a better account. I'm not saying that would have prevented the problem. We have to remember, though, Travis Scott had people storming the venue when he had his venue, where multiple people got trampled to death because there were so many people there. At least that was controlled chaos a bit but it still gets rowdy. And I think people just need to respect the fact that online presence is a real thing. And the other thing about all this is that he has done this before. So you could argue that <clears throat> Kai Senate didn't know how bad this was gonna get. You could say Kai Senate had no, he had never done this before. He had never met a bunch of people, put out an address, and done this before he did it before with little uzi vert famous rapper in november of 2022 he's done this before a year ago that's also kind of a problem because he shouldn't have been surprised by it he basically sat down with the nalka boys and gave an interview about how he linked up with little uzi vert there's a music video that Lil Uzi wanted him to go to because he saw him reacting to it on a stream. Kai Sen had agreed and he went to the area where Lil Uzi Vert wanted to have the music video and he got in the car. They tweeted out the address or DM'd it or whatever. I don't know how they got it out, but they got out the address and people gathered probably 500 estimated. So this was on a low scale his hood on he pops out the front i mean he has at the top and i'm like what the fuck and niggas and there was people in the car they're like just go just go just go just go just go just go so i hop out the top two and bro it was people? bro the vit bro the, i was the, in new york bro, when that happened hundreds of people i was in chelsea hundreds of people he knew it was hundreds of people just from this small little thing that they tweeted out okay they see me they see me and it was like kai, 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 kai. So that's a story he told about him going to Lil Uzi Vert's music video and popping out the the top of the truck. So again, question is, did he know this was going to happen with 500 people showing up and going crazy? He already had a similar event happen a year before. He had the same thing happen a year before in New York all the context clues were there for you bro all the clues were there but you did it again and you shouldn't be surprised by the fact that this blew up so hard this is a video of them when they were shooting the music video after they did the <laughs> tweet people on cars is this is this similar? I think this is playing out the same way the other thing happened. So there's a little Uzi Vert right there dancing on the car. And then Kai Senna right here next to him. Maybe he got a big boost in views or something and he got paid more so he wanted that again. Collabing with big artists like this has to have gotten, gotten him a boost. <laughs> the crazy thing about this is that do you see how many people have phones out? You see how many people have phones out? So the immediate gratification of doing something like this and having people release it on their Snapchats, on their 
Instagrams posting it all over the place. Music blogs pick it up. The news picks it up. All these things. It gives them an elevated boost. Just like you said, Dom. It's money and popularity. All publicity is good publicity. So even if it's bad, it's good. Of course, we're talking about him because this happened and it's in the news. And that's going to boost his audience even more. But we're not talking about... We're not talking about necessarily did he do this for clout that's a whole nother argument he probably did but the question is did he intentionally or was he aware that this many people would probably be there and there would be so much damage to the city and an overwhelming amount of people injured because it's not so much of an issue if you are doing this correctly this would be like a stage you could do this on a stage and you still gather the same amount of people. All I'm arguing is just do it in the right place at the right time. You're going to get the same effect without having so many people get hurt. Like if you actually care about your fans, you care about everything that's going on around you. Why would you do it this way? It's ignorant and lazy. Dollar signs. Dollar signs. Nothing matters. The reason that I tend to agree with that is for two reasons. First of all, this was so ignorant that there was one there was only one motivation. And that would be for the fame and the money. It wasn't caring about what was going on around him. Number two is that because this was so poorly orchestrated. I have to imagine that the management team that he has around him and all of the people that he has around him are getting paid not well and that he's making the significant amount of lion's share. In other words, he's so f you can kind of tell that by his laziness with the people around him that he's more concerned about the money that he's getting as opposed to setting up proper functions around him because once you start actually elevating people around you to do the job correctly and pay people the right amount of money to set these things up and not be lazy about it like this then you're making less money and i think deep down that he is trying to make as much money as possible and not pay people to do things otherwise he would have done this the right way and rented out a venue but he wanted to have a free way of not spending money to keep people safe he did not put in the effort nor the concern and finances to make sure that this happened the right way you see what i'm saying we're giving someone a ps5 who won it fairly or needs it just going out to a crowd of people and saying i'm giving out a ps5 is just dumb it's so dumb so anyways he knew it was going down he had already done this before a year before he probably got a boost from that, the little Uzi Vert collab, and he wanted to do it again. Yeah, that'll cause a riot. Exactly. So you're already bringing a recipe, a firecracker into the whole mix by saying that you're going to give away a piece, uh, PS5. You're already causing insult to injury because if you're in a group of a thousand people, let's say he, let's say it was 500 people, which is what he anticipated it to be. He gave away a PS5 to somebody. They're going to get jumped outside. If they were giving away 100 gift cards, it would have been the same. He didn't need to bring that damn PS5. <laughs> yes, the, the gift cards are a little bit more like put it in your pocket and move. He did have gift cards. He was giving away $100 gift cards too. And so the other thing is the management team that had to have known about the problem with the people that Kai Senate brings in the people that Kai Senate brings in is not it's not unknown data the people that watch Kai Senate stream it's not unknown this is known if you're a good management company you should know what your demographic is wouldn't that be marketing one-on-one -on -one? why would you not have your marketing management team should be number one what's your demographic number two what's the marketing spend that's like the two things right there do you think he'll do better in the future it depends on how he reacts to this 
we're gonna have to see how this plays out if he reacts to this the way that he's been reacting to it which is right now he's saying you know i went to jail free free everybody's reacting like free kai senate the way that the the memes are coming out and the way that this is propelling on all the social media networks is not leaning towards doing better in the future if he says to all his followers and all the people and say the new york police were totally against me and they shut me down and fuck the police all of this stuff then he's already showing not listening to any feedback he's getting dragged online i know a lot of people are probably coming at him and he's had other things he had to address if he did this before he did this a year ago he did it now what will probably happen is that he'll probably do it again in another year or two he will probably do like more of a managed style he might what i want him to do is fire his management staff hire a proper management staff and they plan it for you it will still happen again in other words he'll have another venue probably set up to do something similar to this but it will be planned it will be planned if he doesn't if he doesn't plan it the next time then this is this would be strike that would be strike number three and at that point it's just you got to get this guy a whole new like how is he gonna learn maybe his team wanted to do it right and he said no not pocket the money that is a great point that is absolutely a great point in the back of my mind i i kind of think that but it's hard to say that he did it on um not on purpose but it's hard to say that his team was convincing him without them coming out and publicly speaking about it they have a bunch of pr to fix so i don't know if the team was actually paying attention to these logistics we're gonna see and I did a little bit of digging. So there is a couple things that he's associated with. He is associated with AMP, which is a group of guys out of Atlanta that came together and had a group. And then he also has a manager, LM, LFM TV. This is their LinkedIn profile. Oh, it's not pulling up for some reason. Yeah, you're right, because they looking like dummies too. We're going to see what plays out. This is LFM and I had to do some digging. I had to do some digging for this y'all to figure out who manages this guy because on the surface, he's associated with this team called AMG and the team AMG has a few people in it and they're a whole nother group. They started their group together in Atlanta, I think or Atlanta based and I think Phantom is a part of it. Chris and next door and kai senate but they're managed by lfm talent there's only thirty thousand people following this account why is why is this such a lacking amount of information the reason i know that this is his management team is because of this tweet right here after i did some digging lfm lfm tweeted out don't you doubt the kid kai senate welcome kai senate lfm Th these are his managers if you actually look at their website it's laughable this is their website lfm tv these are the managers that manage kai senate one of the biggest twitch streamers in the world this is their website. <laughs> there's nothing to do here. You just go here and there's LFM. You paid $2 for this webpage. I paid more for my business webpage than this. You have their three socials and the LFM management at the bottom. These people are like pop up urgent clinics and for the money. So they're definitely not, they can't be the top dollar. They're not the highest bidder. Here's their profile, 7,000 followers. They also work with a streamer called, <clears throat> um, 
Why can't I think of his name? Here's well, here's uh, let me let me go back to this. So this is the AMP group. Here's Kai Senate right here, and here are some of his other guys. This is uh Borum, I think, F Farnum. And I, there's a couple of the other guys on the team. And they they definitely got signed by LFM time. Kai, Kai Senate's team is cheap as hell. He went to with the bottom of the barrel management. He is just trying to make as much money as possible without paying for the right things and the right people in place. And he just needs to move on from this management team. Fire LFM, Kai. Fire them and move on to a bigger management company that's not going to screw you over and have you go to jail for their lack of communication with you. Whether or not you reached out to them or they reached out to you, it doesn't matter. They're your management. They got to know what's going on ins and outs. Even if you never told them what was going on, if they're not paying attention to you enough to know that you're doing a giveaway and you're planning all this with your security team, then what's the purpose of them anyway? Why would you have a management team? And if you if they suck that bad, then you need to either get a new one or if they don't do that function, then what is the point of having them? Go get one. There's a team out there that's going to help you probably do these logistics ins and outs. Fucking do that shit and get rid of like a lot of the people that are around you right now because for them to allow you to do this bro without actually sitting down and having a heart to heart with everybody he needs to fire his whole management team get a new manager get a whole new management team you can't be having your high profile you can't be having yourself get arrested for inciting riots you can't be doing that bro and uh they don't know what they're doing clearly so fire them, move on to another management company. They're a bunch of bums. They're out of New York. It's dumb. Move on, bro. You make too much money to be doing this. So yeah, it's good for clout and everything, but is clout worth going to jail? Uh, but yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think Kai Senate should come out with a statement about how he's going to do better in the future. He's going to have an apology. The drama is crazy. He... <laughs> He should chill out. He probably needs to take a couple days off, collect himself, and then figure out what's going on with the whole team and the communication. They need to learn from this so that in the future, this doesn't happen. Because now he's going to go through the court system for charges in New York. And why would you add that extra drama to your life? Unless you wanted that to happen. In that case, more, more power to you, I guess. Get a good lawyer. Either way, it's dumb, it's dumb as fuck. Both ways are dumb as fuck. If you did it on purpose, and you wanted people to do all this damage and get on the news and everything. That's not that's not right. You could have done the same thing by just having a venue and having a bunch of media coverage, but you didn't spend the money to do that. So that's out of the picture. And then if you were that ignorant and you thought that this wasn't going to happen, then your management team sucks and you need to figure that out. Those are the two options. So both options are you need to fire a management team and get a new one. So if he doesn't come out and just be like, I'm just fucking, oh Jesus. <laughs> oh Jesus. No, he already knew. I can't tell either way. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Cause I don't think he's that much of a shitty person, but he might just be blind by all the people around him. The whole amp squad, the whole amp squad that's around him. That, uh, is all about, you know, clout and all this stuff. I hope that they're good people, but based on how they're moving, it's all about the dollars. It's all about the dollar dollar bills. When you're making that much money, it's hard to see outside of that, which I mean, he's 21 years old. You guys know Kai Senate is 21 years old. It's so young. So without older people around you, more mature people that have been doing this a while, you're going to make continue to make mistakes like this. So just get better people around you. Get more mature people. Dollars is everything these days. It's what makes the world the world go around. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to hate him. I'm not going to hate on him for making money. Of course, I want him to make all the I want him to make millions of dollars. No problem with the money. My problem is the fact that people are getting we're getting hurt. People are getting uh, in fights and there's a bunch of damage to property that was in that area. It's just giving a bad name to you for no reason. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Max, how was stream, bro? I'll get off that topic. Did you have a good stream? 